What's up, everyone? Riley here, and welcome back to Overkill Reviews. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the dang Patreon. Give us a subscribe and give us a follow. My setup today is a little wonky because all of my things are all over the place because I'm currently in the process of temporarily moving to the UK. But once I'm back in Canada, I'm going to be in the banger hanger and everything's just going to work out peaches. <laughs> Let's get into it with Autopsy's latest album, Ashes, Organs, Blood, and Crips, out today, October 27th, 2023, on Peaceville Records. Formed out of California in 1987, after leaving the band Death, following the release of Scream Bloody Gore, Chris, our beloved drummer and vocalist here, joined forces with Eric, our beloved guitarist and vocalist here, and they formed the band Autopsy. Shortly after that, they recruited Danny to fill in that other guitar gap, and they've kept that lineup really consistent, other than a few bassists here and there and everywhere. By 1995, they had put out four full-length albums and had kind of been a part of that pioneering death metal, death doom sound. And then I think Eric had enough and he called it quits. And Chris and Danny went on to form the band Abscess. This went on until about 2008 or 2009. Abscess split up. Friggin' Eric got back in there and Autopsy got back together. A few full lengths come out since then. We now have Greg Wilkinson as the bass edition as well. I think many bands that make music for so long after such a long period of time, it gets a little weird and we don't really know uh, what to expect and if it's going to be good. Um, but maybe this is going to be a diamond because their last album that only came out a year ago was pretty freaking sweet. So let's get into it. Bring it up. Autopsy has never had any fear in slowing things down and making stuff a little bit doomy, but I would not describe them as death doom. I think they just like to tease and that's okay. But not only are they fun little tidbits, I think it's a really good way to break up an album and break up a song and it encapsulates the multitude and the multi-potential of what this band has. For example, Rabid Funeral on this new album has almost a groovy grunge breakdown at the end of the song. No Mortal Life sounds more like old school death metal. Well of Entrails is slow and it's doomy, but it picks it back up after they dramatically yell, die, of course. Um, and then there's a lot of other pieces here where there's some really fun, thrashy leads. And by having all of that diversity, the album is so much more enjoyable, so much more interesting, and so much less boring. Wow. Who doesn't love over the top blood, gore, gristle? I fucking do. I don't think death metal would be the same to me without it. And this album is dramatic. So for example, our song Throat Saw here, the lyrics to it are like one purpose, one task to kill. And we have songs on this album called Toxic Death Fuck and Marrow Fiend. And at the end of Rabid Funeral, there's like zombie groans. It's almost funny how dramatic and over the top it is. And I love that. I think it's the perfect combination between this sensual stimulation, really good death metal riffs, and then the imagery. Um, the album cover is like that his guts hanging out and he's <laughs> eating some guts and then there's he's got like another cute little man's like head on a stick it's just perfect i'd have it no other way i found myself a really big sucker for the first half of the album and i think it kind of started to go downhill for me after the song bones to the wolves no beef um i think it was just a little more repetitive and a little less interesting than stuff on the first half of the album. And then I think after that, I noticed that there was less and less that was holding me in. And you're gonna go, Riley, but there's song like Toxic Death Fuck and Death is the Answer are thrashy and they're fun and whatever. I don't love that though. Okay, I get it. They are way more upbeat and tempo. They're faster, they're quicker. 
they've got more of a punch to them but i love the doomy gritty stuff uh so the first half of the album was for me but maybe the second half would be for you so my favorite thing on the planet is when i get a clear bass tone and i can hear that nice bounce and the bass riff at the end of marrow fiend when it gets a little doomy is just so complimentary and it's got it gives it like a little more texture and dimension so whoever mixed this good job the production is great and clear they add a lot of little nice things in there like there's coughing and spitting and groaning and it just adds that dimension for you um there's a lot of little semi solos there's really big fast clear solos that are thrashy um gurgling effects on one of the songs in the vocals so it kind of almost sounds like a discounted like where the slime live by morbid angel you know what i mean the gurgle uh it's that rock and rolly fucking movement it's not muddy it's clear it's fun it's dirty it's great it's great and my verdict is this band they have on this new album they've got the effects the tones they've got the imagery they've got all of the riffs they've got the death metal the thrashy the doom and it's so much and it's so much fun and it's not boring and i think there's so many bands that do stuff for such a long period of time and they just kind of keep putting things out and it's not really good anymore but this was a lot of fun and I listened to a lot of new albums and I'll give it a listen through a couple of times but I actually listened to this multiple times out of my own enjoyment and then I just got into this autopsy phase where now all I've been listening to is autopsy for the last like couple weeks of my life and I'm sure that will continue so yeah, they pushed me down that hole and I hope that they push you into it too. And with that being said, I'm going to give it like a 4.5 out of 5 skulls today on Overkill Reviews. First and foremost, I have Wayfarer. They are an American frontier inspired black metal band. Their new album is called American Gothic and it is coming out on October the 27th. I know them because they had an album come out called A Romance with Violence and it was really strange and really intriguing and I'm hoping this new album is just as good. Second up, I have Cardinals Folly. They are a doom band from Helsinki, Finland. Uh, they have a new album called Live by the Sword coming out October 27th on Soul Cellar Records. Last year, they put out a split album with the American band Purification. It was called Possessed in the Ritual Grove and I really, really liked it. Um, I heard a track from the new album, it's called Luciferian and it's almost more of like a hard rock, heavy metal sound. Like if you know the band Witch Hazel, for example, except I'm expecting the rest of the album to be a little more doomy because their previous stuff is a lot more doomy than that. So let's find out. And then of course, I'm very excited about this one. New Suffocation comes out on November 3rd on Nuclear Blast Records and I'm very excited and it's going to be the first full length with Ricky Myers on vocals instead of Frank Mullen and I am just excited to see how it goes so like my body's vibrating when I talk about it I'm so stoked it's going to be sick uh yeah and that's all I've got today the next time you see me I'm going to be across the pond so have a good one and I'll see you then